You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here from the Ozarks. Great show today about true grit. Mm. And remember the subscribe button below for CNA TV. Friends, life is now in session. Enlarge my heart with a story and change me by the characters I meet there. Friends, if you noticed the thumbnail picture for today's show, it is a picture of my mother, her parents, and her little sister at the time of the Great Depression. Hmm. Nights have a special magic in the Ozarks. I feel the crispness in the air and take in the sights and sounds. Another full moon night, herds of cud chewing cows, farmhouses, barns, trees, nature's nightlight defining things as though it was day. Oh, friends, I wish you were here. Grief and kindness shown to those grieving. There are some realities that you can only see through the eyes that have been cleansed by tears. Today, treat everyone you meet with respect. Extend them all the care, kindness, and understanding you can. And do so with no thought of reward. Your life will never be the same. The feelings that overwhelm you when a loved one dies deserves your attention. They are openings to greater awareness. Friends, the depression defined my people. Can you stand it? Can you gut it out? Grinding poverty? Three changes of clothes? One pair of shoes, work daylight to dark. Mm. I remember Noggy's grandmother, Nora, and how Noggy was the only one there in that little shack in the Missouri Ozarks to comfort Nora when her grief came. Now you talk about someone with true grit. She went through the depression. Wow. Nora, her husband Kenneth, Noggy's mom and her little sister. Little girls three and five years of age when the depression hit. No work, no home. A farmer told Kenneth and Nora they could live in one of his chicken houses if they would clean it out. Kenneth and Nora were hard workers. They cleaned it and lived there. Noggy's mom told him many times about that time. Other poor people with nothing themselves gave Nora pumpkins and more pumpkins. Oh, Nora made pumpkins in more ways. Fried pumpkins, pumpkin muffins, pumpkin bread. It's all they had. Noggy loved hearing his mom telling of those hard times. Noggy always believed he got his work ethic from his mom, Kenneth and Nora. Many years later, when Noggy would need a place to run away, 
to avoid the beatings? School friends would take him to Grandma Nora's in White Oak Holler, where he felt safe. Grandpa Kenneth, a good man like Doc McCracken, kind and caring, and Kenneth liked Nagi. True Grit, The Depression, Life Lessons from the Heart, a desire for a world where people are respected for their wisdom and experience where people show compassion and generosity. Those things we saw during the Depression. Earl Nightingale said, our rewards in life will be in exact proportion to the amount of consideration we show others. Like George Washington Carver said, Resolve to be tender with the young, compassionate with the aged, because someday in your life, you will have been all of these. It's odd how life changes things around. Kenneth died young at age 62. Nora dug her own cellar at 62 with a pick and a shovel. Grew her food. When her dog had puppies, she knew she couldn't afford to feed them. The story is sad, so I won't say much about that. Being an animal lover, just hearing that brings back pain. Nora lived to be 92. Some thought she didn't have a heart. Couldn't grieve when Kenneth died. At the funeral, Nagi watched close, not a tear. But Nagi found even the toughest grief. After the funeral, it was just Nagi and Nora to the little tar paper shack. Nagi looked around the corner and saw her looking at pictures and saw tears. Nagi was glad he was there. They could grieve together and share an understanding of the heart that is deeper than words. I see this same caring in Naka and CNAs. Nagi and Nora both had memories of Kenneth. They both knew Kenneth would want only the best for them both. They both knew profound pain and were looking for profound healing. Nora and Nagi in that tar paper shack in White Oak Holler. Together they waited for the next day's sunshine. I'd like to share this poem, Sunshine. The sun comes up each morning. A new dawn comes alive. Refreshed to start another day. On sunshine we can thrive. The sunshine gives us many things. God sent it from above. We should be forever thankful. It was sent to us with love. Life matters no matter how long or short. Trust the promise that unending life is real and that your life today matters too. Naka says that living our life to the full is not betrayal of a memory, but a fulfillment of a promise to someone who would want only the best for you. Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. 
You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47. This is John Willard from the farm.